to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a very quick yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. That means no situation cards, just a quick yes or no from the transparent tarot. Now, please remember, this is a general reading. Lots of people, lots of questions, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings. They're by gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at terrysinspiredtarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's very quick yes or no reading we are going to have a reading number one with the jasper reading number two with the aquamarine reading number three with the rhodochrosite reading number four with the iolite and reading number five with the rose quartz please select your reading intuitively your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the Jasper. The properties of Jasper are stability, wholeness, and perseverance. Those things may have some bearing on your question or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no to the questions of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's go one more time. There we go. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. Okay. We start with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands says that things are moving quickly. Situations moving very fast. Could be um, spirit guide messages coming in quickly. Next, we see the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords advises not to hang on to anything too tightly. And it also kind of has a note that there might be something going on in the background where someone's not being completely honest. Next, we see the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning where you step into your passions. You really follow your passions and it starts something new in your life. That's followed by our Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is about you stepping into your true authentic energy, being uniquely yourself, being unapologetically you. And topping everything off, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups talks about looking back, seeing how far you've come, seeing how much you've grown, and it can talk about reconnecting to your past, reconnecting to your history. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, I know we have that Seven of Swords in there, but everything else is pretty positive. There's a lot of passion energy, so the answer to your question looks like it is yes. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the aquamarine. 
The properties of aquamarine are safe travels, exploration, and renewal. Those things may have some bearing on your question or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, once more. There we go. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the Phoenix. The Phoenix is the judgment card. It talks about rising from the ashes, getting a second chance you desire somewhere. Next, we see the tower. The tower talks about change, things getting broken down to be rebuilt new. Next, we see the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles talks, it can talk about abundance coming in. It can also represent a person that really wants to be the person to take care of things and to help with things. Next, we see the Two of Swords. That talks about a stalemate. Not seeing your way out of a situation, not seeing your way past things. Next, we see the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups talks about your emotional maturity, your capacity to handle the situations in front of you and to process those deeper emotions, not just you know um, brushing them off or hiding them. And then topping everything off, we see the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is about a new beginning that is passionate in nature, starting something that has your passions all wrapped up in it. Okay, so looking at this as a yes or no, you have judgment, which is very positive, but then you have the tower, which is all about change. That two of swords is in there talking about a stalemate and some stuck energy. That being said, there's a lot of positive energy here too. A new beginning that's passionate, processing deeper emotions, abundance coming in, and a second chance. It's not a strong yes to whatever your question is, but the answer is most likely yes. All right, that's all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the rhodochrosite. The properties of rhodochrosite are love, compassion, and sincerity. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups talks about a proposal. Normally a romantic proposal, but sometimes a work proposal. This is like taking things to the next level in your relationship or possibly, you know, being promoted to lead a team in your work life. Next, we see the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is about falling in love. It's passion meets emotion and they whirlwind. So the feeling of falling in love, whether it's with a thing, a person, a job, whatever it is, it's that feeling of falling in love. Next, we see the magician. The magician talks about manifesting. Manifesting using your talents and skills to bring those things you desire into your realm. 
And then topping everything off, we have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles talks about being appreciated for the work that you put in, for the energy that you bring, um, really being appreciated normally in your work life. So there may be questions about jobs and uh, promotions and things like that here with the Three of Pentacles. All right, looking at this, this is a pretty solid yes to whatever you ask Tarot. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the Iolite. The properties of Iolite are navigation, wisdom, and communication. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. That's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the sun. The sun talks about positivity and growth. It has a, a wonderful brightness to it. It's about growing through possibilities. Next, we see the emperor. The emperor reminds you that you are in charge of your life. You're in charge of your path. You're in charge of your life and making the decisions that guide you down the path you want to go down. Next, we see the tower. The tower talks about change, uh, normally significant change, things being broken down to be rebuilt new. This tower is followed immediately by the devil. The devil talks about stuck energy, feeling stuck and uh, not being able to move forward. That is followed by the seven of cups. The Seven of Cups says that you have lots of options. You need to choose what resonates with you. You need to choose um, what, what really works with your soul and take time and use your discernment in making your choices. And then topping everything off, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands talks about feeling very overwhelmed, um, situations being overwhelming and um, really having a lot on your plate, a lot of weight on your shoulders, you know, kind of carrying around the weight of the world. All right, so I know we started with the sun, which is very positive, but having the devil and the tower and the ten of wands and even the emperor in there, um, I, I feel like you're being told to pause with regards to decisions, to use your discernment in making your decision because there's a lot of options. The answer no may be a very good answer for you because we did start with the sun, but with the tower and the devil stacked together like that, it does look like the answer to your question is no. So no to whatever you ask tarot. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number five with the Rose Quartz. The properties of rose quartz are love, joy, and connection. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. 
then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, let's go one more time. There we go. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. So we start with the 10 of Pentacles, which talks about abundance. Um, a significant abundance coming in. This is normally material and um, it's normally quite noteworthy. Next, we see the devil. The devil talks about stuck energy, um, things that do not serve you, things that are not good for you. Sometimes addiction, that sort of thing. Next, we see the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups says something's ending to bring in something better. So whatever's ending, it brings in something better than, than what ended. Next, we see the Empress. The Empress talks about foundational energy, laying down roots, having your material needs taken care of. It can also talk about um, motherhood. And then topping everything off, we have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords talks about moving forward, but it says you might be carrying emotional baggage with you. So moving forward, but bringing forward some energy that doesn't need to move forward with you. Okay, so there is, there's definitely that message here. Um, there is moving forward, there's financial abundance out in front of you, but you may be bringing something that's not good with you forward. That's why you've got the devil in here too. Even with the devil, you've got the empress and the 10 of pentacles, very positive, eight of cups, also very positive. And the six of swords says you're moving forward. You just have a little bit of inner work to do to get rid of the stuck energy. So this looks like the answer is most likely yes to whatever you ask tarot. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.